Today's uh, prayer is about strength. Our thoughts and prayers are for everybody in Florida. Our Father, sometimes the, care, the cares of the day seem to multiply while the blessings fade so quickly. Our bodies grow tired and our minds even more tired. Jesus, help us. Give us strength you've promised in your word. Give us the power to take the next step. Give us your grace, for you know that in our weaknesses, your strength is revealed. May we receive it today. Amen. 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 Okay, on September 30th, for a liquor license, I concurred with Hamden Township Trustees in not requesting a hearing on the liquor license being requested by We Be Good LLC, doing business as Hamden Country Inn, first floor, basement, and patio located at 13960 Rock Creek Road, Hamden, Ohio. Uh, and then uh, for aging, I approved hiring Mark Krabovic to part-time recreation and education assistant. However, he declined the offer. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, today's financials include a cash transfer from the general fund to Court Technology for a portion of their 2022 funding. And there's two travel requests, one from the engineer's office to attend the Tree Care Industry Association 2022 Expo, and from the recorder's <coughs> office to attend the Ohio Recorders Association Winter Conference. Among the vouchers are $8,000 from the auditor's office to Jim Bartow LLC out of the American Rescue Plan Fund for a Brookshire Heights connection contract, and $23,355.75 from the commissioner's office to NB5, for owner's representative services related to the construction of a new office building and phase two projects. And $101,088.25 from Water Resources, HDR Engineering Incorporated for the Aquila Wastewater Treatment Plant Upgrade Projects, which was about $35,250. And the McFarland Wastewater Treatment Plant Upgrade and Renovation Project, which was about $65,838.25. Make those Second. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Morning, Good morning. Good morning. One item this morning, item three, County Engineer's Office requesting the board approve and execute the unit price contract with Greenland Incorporated. For the drainage improvements on Washington Street, County Highway 606, Section C through E, in Auburn and Bainbridge Township, in the amount of $458,187.56. Okay. So, this is right down. So, what exactly are you going to do with that? So, uh, near the library, there's a culvert under Washington Street. It's an old stone structure with a couple concrete extensions on it that has not failed. The road is actually sinking there. Um, that one will be replaced, and then the uh, deep and steep ditch in that culvert all the way to Snyder will be filled in uh, with pipe, which has been a maintenance. It, it erodes really badly in there, uh, real steep drop off. Um, and that, that's a one big part of it. The other big part is at Auburn Lakes. There's a similar deep, steep ditch from the entrance to Auburn Lakes all the way up to uh, the next uh, township road there. I see those two will be closed, mm -hmm. uh, eliminate those hazards on Washington Street. Mm -hmm. Okay. Will the, will the piping be concrete? The pipe will be concrete under the road. It'll be plastic parallel to the road. Okay. All right. I'll make that motion. Second. Just the light. Aye. 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 Yes. Thanks. Have a good day. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, Carmel? Good. 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 Thank you. 
my name is Lisa Kalis and I'm with Jarvis on the Water Conservation District and I'm requesting the board acknowledge the first notice of violation dated July 22nd and the second notice of violation dated August 22nd of 2022 issued against Paul Hummer regarding construction occurring at 14969 Chill Coffee Road located in Russell Township for failure to comply with Jackson County water management and sediment control regulations. A site visit was conducted July 20th in Russell, with Russell Township zoning, and it was resulted in the finding of construction activities, including clearing of the land clearing machine and damage to an active stream, as well as encroachment on a riparian setback. Mr. Hummer stated we simply cleared for us. Owner has also received letters from the Ohio EPA and the United States Army Corps of Engineers requesting compliance. So therefore, we are also requesting the board issue a finding of violation and forward the finding of violation to the Jarrett County Prosecutor. And um, this address, is this correct? I, I thought it was off of uh, the side street, the actual driveway. It's Chill Coffee Road. The, the driveway is on Chill Coffee. It is? Yes. Sure. Are you thinking of a different site? Maybe. He has yeah. two properties. There's a totally different one. Oh, there's, oh, there's two he properties. He has another one, and then there's a, a third site that's not his. Oh. That's on Martin. Okay. Six. Okay, so, so this is not the one. Of, okay. No, that's okay. A Okay, so so just to kind of explain a little bit, then you can see the pictures. It looks like there's like fresh soil and stuff moved, and so you can see the stream there. And uh, so is it blocked in now? It's flowing, but there's sediment in there. And there's no BMPs in place. Mm -hmm. So then, basically, what does he need to do? He's got to put some kind of uh, like containment so that it doesn't. Oh. He has to put his still fence up. He has to he submitted a plan, but the plan is not reflective of what is actually proposed on the property and what has been done. So he has to submit an updated plan if we have asked him for it, but we haven't heard anything. And on site, he needs to remedy the situations that are there by putting some type of still fence barrier up and then potentially also seeding it. We're also the Army Corps had a visit with Lisa out on site, so we're waiting on what their mm -hmm. uh, requirements are going to be. But as at well. this point, it's um, with the Army Corps and then also the EPA. Yeah, we're yeah. waiting on what their their directives are, mm -hmm. so that at least we're not conflicting with each other. Mm -hmm. So this is a like a, a stock work that's been it, ordered. The stock work is not been ordered. We're going mm -hmm. to prosecute her and we'll issue a letter asking them to get this taken care of. Okay. And my understanding as a prosecutor issues a letter gives them 30 days to do it. If nothing, no response, no action, mm -hmm. nothing uh, comes back, so they'll us issue another letter, mm -hmm. give them another 14 days, and if in that 14 days they don't do anything, they will um, uh, file proceedings mm -hmm. to do an injunction. Is there, um, do you know, is there a remedy to this or to continue the project, or is it just I mean, how did what normally happens? So they they put it back to the way it was, or they have to put it back to the way it was, mm -hmm. seed it, put mm -hmm. the barriers up, get a plan that's accurate. Okay, and so then follow the plan, right? Right, yeah. yeah. And we haven't received any okay in that nature yet. Okay. Is there you might want to write down set back? How many feet? There are twenty five. And there's two of them on that that same parcel. Okay. So long term, what's the deal? Then it would just continue to erode and just keep on filling in, mm -hmm. and then you'd end up with the major backup of the you know, further possibly. down into the stream and through the drains down to Silver Creek. And then this project, I know, it doesn't affect the other project, right? They're, they're, they're separate. totally separate. They're but both and same people, though. Same person. This is the same person. And then both of them are having an issue with. It. Yes. Okay. And caves. We have not received any. Response. And they've gotten a letter from the prosecutor and they respond to that. On caves. Mm -hmm. Oh, so there's a third. Third is Martin Road. Okay. That's a different part owner. Okay. And this owner li lives in the county too, or no? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'll make that motion. Second. Yes. yes. Yeah. No. That's okay. Yeah, no. That and this just starts the process. It's right. It's right in the process. I mean, they, you know, we get ample time. Obviously, you can see the timeline. Even the prosecutor gets in time. So, I mean, our goal is to get compliance. I mean, we don't want to. Right. We, we try to give them every chance possible to get it. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, thank, thank you, guys. Have a good day. Good morning. 
everybody? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, okay, um, community and economic development. We'd like to request the board approve and execute the contract between the County of Geauga, Women's Safe, and Geauga Highway for the Women's Safe Paving Project under the CDBG grant. Um, total amount of the project is $46,920. $35,100 will come from CDBG funds, and $11,190 will be paid by Women's Safe. Um, and the bid bond will be uh, served as the performance bond. I'll make the motion. I'll second the discussion real quick. Did, yes. What did we do last week? Did we do the same thing, or, no? or is this different? This, the, we're going to hopefully sign the contract. The contract, yeah. okay. Okay. Let's yeah. review over there. We oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. This, yeah. this is the next, the next step. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. Yes. And a couple of other questions. Yes, go ahead. Uh, when will this job be done? Um, they're thinking probably three days it'll take. Okay. They want to start um, the last week of October. Okay. So we just need to get everything done next week and then they can start. Because it's time of the year. I know it's getting a little iffy. Big, big project. <laughs> yeah, no, for, for it's not. December. They think it's they think it's about a three day project, so okay. we should have it done pretty quick. Great. Yeah. Thank you. All right, and then um, we also want to request that you uh, award the bid to AJ Holder Electric uh, for the DDC Clinic Generator Project uh, for the CDBG grant. Um, that generator project is going to be sixty five thousand one hundred sixty five dollars of which $55,100 will come from CDBG funds, and $10,065 will be paid by the DDC clinic, as they represented the lowest invested. I'll make that motion. Second, then, uh, question. Sure. Um, generators are on a, it's a notorious back order right now. What's the status of that? So it's got a one year. As soon as we can get this through and get going, um, it's about a year out. Um, so we're looking at maybe October of next year. We may have to extend, file for an extension on our CDB2 grant. But yeah, I was just going to say, okay. yeah, because would that, does that, I was just going to ask, will that affect that? Um, yeah, we'll if, file for an extension if we need to. Okay, okay. Any other questions? That's it. Hi. Hi. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. The next item is a contract maintenance form number five with NB5. This is extending the, uh, the time frame for their work on this building um, as we're addressing all the remaining items that need to be done and some of the, uh, some of the maintenance items mm -hmm. that need to be addressed to the construction issues. So they're just looking to extend. They were due up at the end of September, so we can get them on board through the end of January. Okay, great. I'll make that motion. Sorry. Yes. Yes. The Commissioner's Office is requesting the board move an executive session for the purpose of uh, discussion pending litigation. Second.
grand opening of the new playground. Oh, so, so we're going to be in recess with the playground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just saying. It all blended in. What time is that? So we're in recess. Order to love them. Yep. Everybody else, Craig, I know you all really want to do it. Oh, no, Tony. Good father, man. Take the elevator downstairs. So, will there be a 